the Lloyd Mercedes Suite. We need you from Lloyd Mercedes. Dot com. Thought of an ant was there. Not an ant. Okay. Lloyd Mercedes. Dot com. Who's Lloyd Mercedes? Think about some branding. Today the date is 19th November 2017. Time right now is 1:52 in the afternoon. Okay. Um, I got this question. I got this question from one of the YouTube uh, comments that I received. And the comment, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the exact um, comment that he gave me. The comment was something like this. Wait, one second. Uh, let me go to my channel. I'm going to my channel. And from there, I am going to the comments. I'm going to the comment section below. And I'll tell you the exact comment. Okay. The guy uh, kind of told me, what did he tell me? Oh, oh, you call yourself the number one person branding strategist. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, then what? How is it that you have only... Uh, 4,000 subscribers and only 250 views in five days. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let me just answer this question as to why do I have only so few views and so few uh, subscribers? Okay, I'll answer that. It's a it's it's a, it's a really valid um, question. Okay. I claim to be the world's number one personal branding strategy and how come I have so little views? Okay, now, let's imagine for a minute. PewDiePie. PewDiePie has, I think, 10 million uh, subscribers, okay? So he's the world's number one gamer, fine, okay? But his revenue model is based entirely on YouTube. Let's say tomorrow his YouTube shuts down. Does he stop being the world's number one gamer? Yes, on YouTube. He stops being the world's number one gamer on YouTube. So if he were to start a new gaming channel on, let's say, Twitch or somewhere else. Now, unless and until he becomes the world's number one or the highest on Twitch, he would not matter. So it depends on which media. Now, I have my website. I have YouTube. I have Pinterest. I have Instagram. I have uh, my blog that is on blogger.com. I have so many different channels and on Facebook also. Now I have around six, six major ones. Snapchat, I stopped. Uh, I'm also on Quora. Yeah, sorry. I'm also on Quora. Now, it's not humanly possible for someone to be number one on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. I have also Twitter. Uh, Quora. It's not possible to be number one every single place. It's just not possible. So now, the question is, if I was number one on YouTube and I'm not number one on blogger.com, I'm not number one on uh, Quora.com, I'm not number one on Ezine.com, Twitter.com, Instagram.com, then am I number one? Or do I have to be number one on all the platforms? Or do I have to be number one on major platforms? Or do I have to be number one on uh, many minor platforms? See, each one has a different bloody definition of number one. For me, what is my definition of number one is big, fucking money if i can make good amount of money not the highest not billions if i can make enough money where i'm living a comfortable life i'm number one bitch okay let's assume you have hundred thousand subscribers on youtube one hundred thousand subscribers but i'm i have only 10 subscribers on youtube you have hundred thousand i have 10 but i'm making more money than you isn't that what matters in the end what the hell will i do with 100,000 subscribers. What is YouTube going to give me? Is YouTube going to give me 10 million US dollars every year? No, unless and of course I reach PewDiePie and unless of course I'm dependent completely on YouTube, then it matters. Others, it doesn't matter to me. I seriously don't give a damn how many viewers are there. I don't give a damn how many views I get. I don't give a damn how many subscribers I get. I don't even beg people, oh, please subscribe to my channel. No, you want to subscribe, you subscribe. Because the thing is, this is for free. I'm giving you for free. YouTube gives point zero zero zero. Uh, you know, I think for every thousand views or 10,000 views, it gives you a dollar. I'm not interested in this, you know, in, the, in this piddly little income. And if tomorrow my YouTube channel shuts down, which has happened before, I had 4,000 videos and it got shut down, finished. I've lost everything. Who the hell wants this kind of, uh, you, you know, just jurisdiction where you're dependent on someone else? You need to be independent. For me, it's very simple. I keep myself alive on different social media channels so that if one shuts down, I have still different options. That's why I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have uh, uh, Pinterest, I have uh, blogger.com, I have my website, I have YouTube. I have so many, okay? So I hope this makes sense to 
you know, pea brain individuals like you, especially the youngsters who come from these uh, stupid, shitty, small little cubicles or small houses where their parents earn mediocre jobs and they think they are warriors of the world on the keyboard. You're nothing. You're just a piece of shit. You're the one who's coming to my channel. I didn't come to yours. I don't even know if you exist. Okay. And nobody's interested in you. You're just a bloody troll. So go fly a kite. Okay. Me on the other hand, even if I have, let's say, now I have 4,300 or 4,500, whatever number of viewers, uh, subscribers, fine. But what matters to me is not these subscribers. What matters to me is people who pay me money because at the end of the day, I need money to pay my bills. I need money to live a lifestyle like this. I need money to take care of my wife, to shop, to buy whatever I like. Okay, I'm enjoying a good life. I'm having a nice without a single penny from YouTube, without a single subscriber. I get money from my clients. So keep in mind, given a choice between 100,000 subscribers and 10 subscribers, if you're making $1,000 a month, I'm making $10,000 a month. I prefer this. 10 subscribers with $10,000 because my, my target audience, my clientele is very niche. They are the other 10% of the population who can afford to pay $10,000, okay, per year just for advice. You can't afford it. You're a freeloader. You come on YouTube for free. You check content for free. You read for free. That's the only thing that's good for you and you belong to this free audience, which is not my audience at all. So even if all my subscribers all go bye-bye, no problem. Because... You guys are freeloaders. You don't pay me any money. If you pay me money, you're important to me because money pays my bills. And that is one very important lesson you, today's generation, need to know. Money talks, my friend, not fame. It's money that talks. So uh, given a choice, I prefer not to be famous at all. I don't want to be famous. I'd rather be really rich, really happy, really comfortable, earning good money than being famous because fame is fleeting. You can be very famous today. You can be irrelevant tomorrow. But if you have money, that's the only thing that matters. So I hope this answers your dumb, stupid argument. Oh, no, you are number one, but you have only so many subscribers. Ah, so many views. You know, I hope this video answers your stupid, ridiculous, retarded question. Because your logic is, you know, you're like a small little baby. Oh, my toy is big than yours. Ha, ha, ha. Who the hell cares? I have more money than you. I enjoy a better life than you. I have more independence than you and you have a crappy life with a crappy shit laptop and a crappy shit smartphone and the only thing you can do is be a warrior sending comments. That's all you can do. Focus on your life. Make some bloody money. I'm not saying be number one on YouTube and earn, earn a lot of money, man. Earn money. That's the only thing that matters. And stop looking at other people. Stop like, oh, you have only 250 views. Oh, you have somebody said, I have more subscribers. Fine. Your, your dick is bigger than mine. Your... You're, you're more handsome than me. You're more smarter than me. Make some money. Enjoy your life and stop looking at other people because when you look at other people, it shows that your life is not important. I don't spend time looking at any of you guys. I spend time looking at myself. That's why I'm better than you and that's why I live a life more successful than you because I focus on me. So this is live from LiveMessida.com who is LiveMessida and thinking about some branding. Giving you straight up facts why... I'm not too bothered about having number of subscribers, number of uh, viewers. It doesn't matter. YouTube doesn't give me any money and I don't care. Hardly I think I have 25 or $100, whatever, out of 1 million views, which, I don't, which, which doesn't matter to me. Only thing that matters to me is my clients who pay me a shitload of money. That's the only thing that matters to me. So, if you have any questions, send it to lawyer at lawyermasida.com. you want to contribute to this channel, the money, please, you're welcome. PayPal, go to PayPal, LloydLoyMessido.com. And if you want my professional service, that's thinkpersonalbranding.com. Hope this answers your question. This is me saying goodbye for now. Take care.